Hi, this is Doug from Merchmetrics.com, and in this video, we're going to finish setting up our Redbubble account by setting the profit margin we want on each of the products. If you're not already signed into your Redbubble account, go ahead and sign in and then head up to the avatar at the top right hand corner and click on account details. From there, you want to navigate over to product pricing. And here you'll see the general markup you have set for all of the different products available on Redbubble. And you can set a different percentage for each one if you if you decide you want to. Now, I generally don't change a lot of these, but there's a few that I do change. I don't generally change any of the apparel, but I do change the sticker margins. And the first thing I do on my stickers is I increase the margin to 100%. So I'm not selling anything on Redbubble where I'm making 40 cents, 30 cents, 20 cents. To me, that's just not worthwhile. I want to make at least a dollar on each of my products. So with 100% margin, I can. you can see here that I will make a minimum of $1.85 if I sell a sticker. That makes the stickers a little bit more expensive, but generally people are only buying like one sticker. They're not buying dozens of your stickers. So... Um, I don't think that the difference in price between you know two dollars and and four dollars is really significant when somebody wants a sticker to put on their laptop or or they want to put a, a you know a sticker on on the back of their car or something. So that's that's the one thing I do change. As you can see, the margins range on most of the products from about two dollars all the way up to about seven dollars, um, and it looks like the frame prints give you kind of the the best. Uh, profit although they're extremely expensive so uh, same with the canvas prints so I don't know I've never sold any of those I've never sold a metal print canvas print artboard print uh, or photo photographic print on Redbubble I have sold pillows I've sold um, I have never sold a clock I want to sell a clock really badly <laughs> uh, but $30 is kind of expensive um, for a, a custom clock I have sold an acrylic block I was shocked and uh, delighted because I made like four dollars on it uh, but that's basically the only thing that I change um, a lot of the products if you ask me are a little bit expensive uh, especially some of like the um, the stationary type products the water bottle is actually pretty reasonable if you ask me and you, you make about three dollars um, so you can click the checkbox at the bottom to apply the changes that you've just made to all of your existing work and then save the new default markups so now if I go back to my store, uh, which we can go to my profile and then go to my store from there, uh, you can see that now my product pricing has changed. I'm now uh, charging 370 where before it was like a dollar eighty something. So uh, and that's for the smallest. You can see if I choose the largest in a matte matte finish, uh, fifteen dollars, but it's eight and a half by five inches, so it's huge. Uh, and they show it here on the on the bottom of the skateboard, so you can see it's it's quite large. All right, guys, that's my video on how to change your default pricing on Redbubble.